Hi, my name is Toby, and this video is the first part of a Create Your Own iOS app series, specifically a basketball app. This is the first series of any kind I've ever done, so bear with me as we struggle through this together. When you're building an app of any kind, you want to set some goals beforehand. What do you want it to look like? This will be a basketball simulation app. So this app is going to have a league filled with teams that play against each other and everything else that leagues like the NBA do on a day to day basis. If you've ever played a franchise or association mode on a sports game, then you should know what this one is. We're going to want to have some sort of mode where we give the player the ability to craft their own team and build it as they go along. And lastly, this game should have some sort of distinction that separates it from any other kind of sports game or any other kind of basketball game. This reminds me of Baseball Superstars, a popular mobile game series that I used to play a lot back when I was in high school. It was way more than your typical sports game. It was, if anything, a baseball RPG where it had cutscenes, mini games, and a bunch of content outside of the typical game that you could use to enrich your experience. And I wanna see if we can build a game like that here for this app. Maybe you could start off with a single player, have some sort of really cool story, include leveling up and other kinds of role-playing game mechanics. We'll see. So here I'm gonna open my existing project in my Xcode workspace. And Xcode is a app development program available for Macs. So this is where you can create iOS apps from. So right now this is the first screen of the iOS app here. And you can see um, I already have some code filled in, but we're gonna start completely or mostly from the beginning. And I'll be sure to talk through every part and make sure that we're on the right track. So in Xcode, you code in a language named Swift, which is Apple's um, current language for developing apps from. Swift is a really cool language, and I'll make sure to um, add a link to the description to the official documentation. And it's really easy to learn, and it reads just like English. So hopefully most of the code here, if I don't explicitly say what it means, it should be, um, you should be able to understand it. Okay, so we're gonna create a basketball league. So what exactly do we need? Well, like what are the components of a basketball league that we need? Well, we need teams. The NBA has 30 teams and they're all necessary because they we need a league that has games happening between teams and those teams are composed of players. So those are two very important things, of course, and can't forget about the games. So that makes three. Those are the pretty much, I guess, the three main components of not only a basketball league, but every sports league. Since a game requires our teams to operate and a team requires players to operate, you could say that players are the simplest component in our league. So we should start there. So we're going to start by creating this player class that I have set up here. Um, what are some necessary variables we'll want to have for our player class? Offense and defense. If we just want to just encapsulate how they perform on either side of the court into a single number, that's simple enough for now and intuitive enough that we can build upon later. So I'm just going to write the initialization method for this class here. Now we're going to create a random player function which will be useful when we actually create the first instance of our league. We're gonna wanna have a bunch of random players that are part of it. For our random player, we're gonna compute a random number between one and 99 for the offense score, and then compute the difference into the defense score. So every random player will have um, an offensive defense score that sums up to 100. So they'll be equal somewhat. Okay, this looks good. This looks good enough to test actually. So we can go back to the view controller file and create some random players and see if they've been created correctly.
uh, it didn't work here because I forgot to add the player names to the print statements so they would actually show up. Okay, it works. All of our basketball players are now named Bob, which doesn't really make sense. Because they're random players, we're going to want to give them random names. So we can't really use the same name Bob when we initialize each random player. Looking to the left, this file name generator.swift contains the exact functionality we need to do this. You don't need to understand every bit here, but just know that we have compiled random names for both players and teams. And we have a function here that allows us to choose a random name out of this list, which we're going to use to create names for our random players. So the thinking here is to choose a player name off of this list and then somehow cross it out. So we don't have random players with the same exact name, even though that's possible in real life. We want to just have the ability to have every player be unique here. So after we pick that name, we'll assign it to our player and we'll remove it from the list. So if we go back to our player class, we can use our get random player name function to create our players. Okay, it looks like it worked. Mary and Lucio are both different players with different strengths and we've just created them here. So we're just about done with this part, but I want to wrap everything up by utilizing everything that we've built so far. So let's just create a team of five different random players. Okay, great. We have a five man squad here and each person has their own offensive and defensive scores. It actually looks like the first two have the exact same offense and defense. What are the chances of that? It's crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, everything looks like it's working here and we can round everything up with this. Everything here looks great. Um, and for the next part, I want to focus on creating our teams. So hopefully when we build this up, we can start from the players, moving to the teams, moving to actually playing games between each team, and then we'll be well on our way to creating the perfect basketball league we'll need for this app. Thanks for tuning in.